Hey, how you doing? Thank you for tuning in to Unbox It with Marty. You know, recently I installed Ubuntu 24.04 uh, LTS on my mini PC and I had so much fun, I couldn't wait to install it on my 2011 iMac. And so here it is. Here's the 2011 iMac. I've installed uh, the Ubuntu uh, 24.04 LTS. Uh, before I go any further, I gotta tell you, I really like this logo. This is really kind of a cool logo. So let's see what we're playing with here. Uh, we're just going to go to settings and I want to take a look and let's take go to the about screen and here you can see uh, operating system is uh, Ubuntu 24.04 LTS you can see I'm using an Apple iMac I'm running an i5 I got 8 gigs of uh, memory and disk capacity of 500 gigabytes and here's just a little more details on the system that being said let's Get on with this test drive. Well, let's get started with this test drive. First things first, let's take a look at some of uh, oh, what I consider my favorite apps, the apps that I look at when I uh, install a new distro. Of course, always interested in the web browser. Uh, of course, uh, Ubuntu 24.04 comes with Firefox. Uh, it's up to you, but you know my thought is if you're going to install an operating system, a uh, Linux distro, always good to go visit the uh, homepage of that operating system and learn, read about it, and be familiar with it. So here we are. We're just looking at the download page of Ubuntu. There's plenty here in this website to uh, take in. Uh, what I like here is they're going to give you a quick uh, explanation or a list of what's new. Here, very important, uh, system requirements. Go through this. You might want to see if your device is uh, compatible. And also what you want to do is they have a list of here on how to install. Very helpful. So when you've gone over what's new, when you've looked at system requirements, and you reviewed how to install, the next step is go ahead and click the download. Now, I'm not going to download it because I've already downloaded and obviously I've installed it here on the iMac. Uh, let's try another web page just for fun. Uh, we'll go right back down to my bookmarks and I'm going to go with Seize the Moment with Marty, a YouTube channel, and we're just going to try this. Uh, just want to test out the sound. Yep. Sound sounds good, doesn't it? Now let's take a look at a couple of other apps. Uh, let's see. Well, Files is always a favorite of mine. I always like to be able to navigate through here. Uh, I like this where it says it's empty. One thing is really kind of nice here is if you can see here, this is pretty easy right here. This is your trash. And yeah, if you want to empty it, just click there and the trash empties. Uh, let's see what else we have to look at. Oh, and obviously I'm always interested in the uh, word processor. This comes with LibreOffice. Loads up, and we're ready to go. Here you go. It's pretty familiar. I mean, it's a familiar format, easy to use. And, you know, also important is the App Center. Obviously, everyone likes this App Center because, well, where are you going to go if you want to get apps for your operating system? Well, this is the best place to go. Uh, makes it very easy to install. You can search out what you want, add apps to your device. All right, let's take a look at some more of these apps. Uh, we'll just glance through them real quick just so you can get an idea. We'll just burn right through these. You know, what I will do is let's stop at settings. Let's take a look at that. I'm just going to slide this around. So obviously here in settings, you can select your background. Some nice choices there. And you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring up files alongside of it. I uh, just line them up because I just want to take a look at some of the colors. See right here, we're at the original color. Let's just Grab a blue, so you can kind of see how they change. You get that. You can see how it's changing right here. Nice. Uh, so again, that uh, how we can change the appearance. And let's finish up through this. So we got some more uh, apps here to look at. Terminal, Linux. Well, terminal, uh, Linux go together. Here's your utilities, just so you have a little idea. Click on the air to go to the right. And you know, you can always just uh, use your 
scroll wheel on your mouse to navigate left and right here. Take a look at a few more of these. And again, you can click on this arrow to go to the right, click on this arrow to go to the left, or yes, again, like I said, you can use the uh, scroll wheel on your mouse, navigate left and right. Another nice little feature here is while we're here is the uh, search feature. Again, of course, you see settings right there, but if you couldn't find the uh, app, just type in, and there you go. It brings up settings for you. Pretty nice, huh? Pretty good search feature. Hey, brace yourself. Now's the time for the fun stuff. We're going to do some navigating. So here we are at the desktop. Uh, I want to draw your attention up here. Uh, you see this little... Uh, Item up here, you can see it actually comprised of two items. That big bright white represents this screen. You click on it, and let's go over here and click here. You can see how now the uh, the bright flag has now drawn attention because we're on this screen. Another way is to navigate. You've got these two here. Uh, yes, like I said, you can click to go back and forth. You can also use your scroll wheel on your mouse to go back and forth. There you go. Uh, another uh, item here is you can, uh, well, for example, you can click down here as you've seen. Uh, we can get to the apps by going here, or we'll come back out. We'll click again right here, and we can tap the Windows key once, and there we go. See, we're doing this. You can see how that's happening. That's similar to clicking up here. See that uh, in the upper left? So now, next thing is we're going to quick double tap the Windows key. And we're here. Now that looks familiar. That's the same operation as clicking here. You get that? Double tap on the Windows key, and we're there again. Just a little FYI. Next, what we want to do is we're going to open up some apps to have some fun. So let's open up uh, the web browser. Got it. And let's open up files. Let's open up uh, LibreOffice. And let's open up the App Center. So here we go. Let's uh, click right here to see what we got. You got four apps running here at the same time. Uh, you can always just take this. Let's just take, uh, you know, let's take, I want to go with, um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the web browser and I'm going to drag it over here. Now, you see what just happened here? We now have three workspaces uh, reflected here. You have the third one, of course, being available. Uh, if you want to, we could take this, see? We we'll take it and just drag it up to number three here, and we open up a fourth available. Uh, same thing here. We can uh, drag this up there if you like. You're fine. You're good to go. Um, let's try another thing. So what we'll do is we'll come back down. Uh, if you wanted to, you could take this right here, and we're going to drag it and bring it back to the first workspace. We're going to take the next one. We can take it and drag it back over. There you got it. And we'll take it and drag it over. And now, look at that. We're back to having four on the same screen. Something I always like to check out is, let's do this. I'm going to take LibreOffice and hit hard center to the right. And we're using up 50% of the screen. And let's take uh, Firefox. Hard center to the left. You can see we're doing a 50-50 split. I'm going to take LibreOffice and hit the upper right. Firefox, we're going to drag down to the lower right. And you can see we're doing a 50 uh, quarter quarter split there. Uh, we'll take the next one. We will just jam it up there. You know what? We can't see the other one, so we're going to jam it down here. And let's take files, and we'll just jam it up there. Now, look at that. We're now split the screen into quarters. If we wanted to, we could then take, for example, LibreOffice, hard center. And now we're seeing a 50 split with a 25-25 uh, split. Another way to take this even further with the navigation is... Well, let's take a look at this. Traditional Alt-Tab, you get that. You can Alt-Tab to navigate through anything you want. There you go. There you go. Uh, what we can do here is we are going to go down to the Show Apps screen. And look at this. All right, what we're going to do is let's uh, make this a little bit easier to manage here. I'm going to take this one. And from the... Uh, App screen, I'm going to drag it. We're doing the same thing here with these workspaces, but you can see how we can s spread them out. Kind of cool, isn't it? All right, let's uh, jump back to our main screens. Got that? We can slide. I'm using the uh, 
scroll wheel on the mouse navigate, but let's uh, clean it up a bit. So, you know what, I'm going to drag it over here, drag it over here, and drag it over here. Oh, come on, let's go. There we go. And I'm going to just drag over there. Now we're back to this. Uh, that's about it for the apps. Just uh, testing out the navigation there. You know, I wanted to try one more thing. Uh, it was kind of a bummer, but uh, I'll share it with you. I'm going to open up the camera app. Look, uh, not working. But uh, what I did is I uh, got myself one of these uh, USB cams. There you go. And let's take a look. Hey, how you doing? See, it works. So uh, I did have troubles with the, the webcam on the iMac, but the workaround I had is I just got a USB uh, webcam. Here, we're going to do a quick test. Uh, we're going to record this video. Let's, uh, let's do it this way. Testing. One, two, three, four. So let's see how that works out. This might take a minute to load. So you can see that there is some latency out there. This is just kind of a uh, somewhat of a workaround. Uh, if you guys have a better solution for the uh, webcam, let me know. Be sure to hit the uh, put your thoughts in the comments below. Um, this will probably bring this video to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoy making these videos. Um, again, if you have any thoughts or comments about the uh, getting that webcam to work, let me know. Put it in the comments. And I do enjoy your comments. I do read them and I appreciate them. So thank you very much. Uh, until my next video, you all take care and have a good day.